All right, next up, trunk lines. So let's think about our trunk lines here. All right, so we'll go back to this one. So here, I mean, just looking right here, we've already said the trunk line might carry multiple conversations, and we called that, what was the word for that? Multiplexing, right? So think about the trunk line, okay? So I've got a switch here, and I have another switch over here, okay? And I've got, let me do my two, well, we'll do three different colors. So I'm gonna have, here's my big connection, and this one's gonna connect over here. This is my black conversation, I don't know. I'll draw different colors here. So let's say here we wanna send out a few frames, Okay, then I have this green, I guess I should draw people. That green conversation, what's this, internet. Okay, let's say the green wants to talk and it would like to send things about that far apart but since this black one is already sending and this line isn't big enough, it's gonna have to wait. We okay with that? So maybe the green sent something first and then black all of a sudden sends some stuff and so now it's a little bit behind, okay? And let's just say green was alone for a little while and then let's think about it for a minute. Maybe orange was already talking. And then they've been sort of trading with green. Now, I'm making this funky diagram. Let's draw my orange one. Let's say they're just talking to the server too. So they're coming off here. All right, so what this means is our trunk line is congested. Okay? If I'm on a congested shared link, now normally, we've already looked at this, we want to have this shared link like here, I had 10 times as much capacity on my trunk lines. But that still means, you know, if 20 of these people start talking at once, then it'll get a little congested. But I want to avoid congestion if I can. Because what congestion will do is it will make it so the uh, latency varies. Oops, varies. Because some of the frames have to wait. All right? So we sort of see that here. You know, green wanted to go boom, 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 boom. But you know, orange was already using the line right here. So green had to wait and kind of got s horned in. Then orange stepped back in and green kind of messed them up. And now green gets to go boom, 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 just as fast as they want. And then black steps in. <coughs> On a normal shared link, it would be sort of one right after another if it was not congested. And so I might be able to have so I can have green and black and orange sending at the same time. Or let's put orange up here. All right. So, not congested. There is no variation in latency. Can you all see how that would happen? So here, there's plenty of space for us to have two conversations at the same time. And so people just to go get to go frame, 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 frame. You know, everyone gets through with the right amount of time. This is like being on the freeway. If I want to drive from Norfolk to Richmond, how long is it going to take me if it's dead of night? From here to Richmond, haven't you guys ever done it? It should be about, what is it, an hour and a half? 
Okay, we drive fat. Okay, no, we're going to go the speed limit. What is it, 70 now? Come on, they up the speed limit. And there's no traffic. Like, you know, normally you get above Hampton and it, you know, clamps down to two lanes and there's all that mess, right? Let's say it's the middle of the night and that's just all free. It's going to look like this, right? I just drive and I get there as quick as I can. No construction, nothing, okay? But if I go during the day, it's now, the rule is, how long does it take me to get to Richmond? Well, when are you leaving? <laughs> you know, are you going to go at 1 a.m.? Or are you leaving at, you know, 2 in the afternoon? That might be like this. 5 in the afternoon? Don't bother. So, the idea here is, you know, this is like, it always takes an hour and a half to get to Richmond every time. Okay? Every frame takes an hour and a half, period. If any time we have to wait for other people's frames, some of my frames are going to get through, like these in here, are getting through one right after another. So all of these, the latency is, you know, hour and a half, hour and a half, was it hour and a half, hour and a half, hour and a half. Here, the difference between here was like, you know, hour and 45 minutes, because this one had to wait. It was like an hour and 46 minutes, by the way, because you have, I don't know, it's like a big truck is in the way, so you had to slow down a little bit. Now this, Stephen, personally, <laughs> I, it takes me two hours. Whenever I go there, it takes me two hours, and it's pretty smooth. A pretty smooth ride. Okay, two hours then. So now we have it. And we're going, I guess, four sixty. The road going southwest from here oh, to Suffolk. Oh, four sixty. Yeah, four sixty. That's a nice route. It's pretty too. I like taking that road. Anyway, so that's congested. What are we going to call this? So the whole point of this is when the latency varies. So at least I mean. So variation in latency is called jitter, okay? And jitter is actually a quality of service measure, all right? Are we good here? It's a quality of service measure, and this is really, remember, in a WAN link, they'll give you quality of service guarantees and one of them will be jitter. So your latency is a certain amount and they guarantee it within a certain range. It's not going to be less than this or it's not going to be worse than a certain amount. Now I'm going to show you one way that latency, just by the way, or jitter, is bad for voice. The reason jitter got its name is because it makes voice sound jittery. So there will be these little delays as you talk. You know, you'll hear part of what the person said and then there will be a tiny, tiny gap and then the next part will come in. When you're talking on your cell phone, this sometimes happens that you'll, you know, you'll be talking and then it'll sound like they kind of broke up like, uh, 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 uh. anyway, they call that jitter.